This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only in anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See that I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It mean, it gives us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the hedge funds and their co-conspirators are suing the SEC. Okay, they are trying to get the SEC to stop forcing them to show us their short positions, to stop forcing them to show us where they're getting these counterfeit shares from. And could you imagine that they're alleging in their lawsuits that did the transparency that the SEC wants from them harms retail investors? Since when has the hedge funds or any of the associations care about harm to retail investors. What they are afraid of, in my opinion, is the fact that they won't be able to make it short anymore. But they're supposed to be smart money. If they can't break the rules, they can't make any money. So how are they smart money? Why do you have to keep your short positions hidden? Why do you have to keep who you bought the, sh the, the shares from hidden? You know why? Because you guys, you hedgies, other bad actors, y'all move two, three times a company's float all the time. It's a whole bunch of naked shorts and counterfeit shares that y'all push into the market to manipulate the stock and steal money from retail investors and pension funds. And these new SEC rules, you won't be allowed to do that anymore. You will have to show the short position. So if the float of a company is only a million shares, but you have four million on loan, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. And that is what the hedges are trying to avoid. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't even think they can win the lawsuit. And I think they know they can't win the lawsuit. But I think they're just doing delay tactics, delay tactics, hoping that the market crashes before they have to close out their AMC and GME shorts and then they can beg for a bailout and blame it on the market, not on their greed. But I hope the Court of Appeals sees through what they're doing and kicks this lawsuit out of the courts. How can retail investors, knowing how many short positions you have, knowing who you bought, allegedly bought these real shares from, how can that be harmful to retail investors? It's absolutely crazy what they're alleging in their lawsuit. They just want to continue with the same modus operandi that they've been doing for years, selling naked shorts into the market in order to rob retail investors and pension funds. And these new rules stop them from doing that. And because they're not smart money, they can't make money unless they're breaking the law. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the SEC rules forcing the bad actors to show us their short position, forcing the bad actors to show us where they're buying or purchasing or loan or borrowing these short positions from? Tell me, do you believe that hurts retail investors or helps retail investors? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.